$5,000 of sticks in the last 12 months. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So I hope you enjoyed that montage of every single stick I've ever broken in my hockey career that I've been able to capture on film. I built this reputation in the online goalie community as quite possibly the toughest guy on sticks. I break sticks like it's nobody's business. I can't even tell you how many sticks I've broken last year. I've probably broken close to $4,000, maybe $5,000 of sticks in the last 12 months, 18 months, give or take. Thankfully, I don't pay for every single stick, but it's still a crazy amount of money. And today's video, I got a new stick. I'm gonna talk about it later on in the video. I have an ice time this morning that I wanna get to, and uh, we'll take things up from there. Just work a little bit on deflection, guys. Here, here. Get those hands active, though. I don't want this. I still want this positioning. So step out for a minute. You're doing this, but I don't want that hand to tuck. I want those hands here. You be comfortable going VH then? I don't have the hip mobility to do VH and then move from there. Sometimes you forget that like I'm a huge guy and like, I move very well to begin with. You move a hell of a lot better than you did when we first started. Well, I have clips from my 2013 filming the scouting video for me for the Prince George Cougars and I'm thinking to myself, why the f would you send this to a WHL scout? What f WHL scout invited me to a WHL main camp? Like I watched this guy belong to Community club hockey, like watching my old thing. Yeah. Let alone a WHL scout and general manager said, you know what? Come to camp. You can compete. I, I think I overall move like this. Because of today's video sponsor, Tiege Hanley Skincare for Men, and I'd love to tell you about it. Tiege Hanley is uncomplicated skincare for men. I've been using the Tiege Hanley products for about a month now, give or take, and I use the AM Facial Moisturizer every day when I wake up, the PM Facial Moisturizer every day when I go to bed, and I'm using the daily face wash every single day, and especially in the showers after a long, hard ice time. When I used to think of skincare products, I used to kind of laugh at it, not take things seriously, but after using the products of Tiege Hanley, it really opened my mind and opened my eyes to what it can really do for me. It's just have me feeling better about my skin, not being dry, not being itchy all the time, and it's not a corporate sales pitch. This is the real deal. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring this video, if you click the first link in the description, you can get a free toiletry bag with your first box. For the longest time, my last girlfriend used to tell me all the time that I have the driest skin ever and I'll take care of my skin. I have the skin that's probably similar more to an alligator skin consistency. And especially after practicing, you know, skating two, three, four days a week, your face gets dried out, it's covered in sweat. Since I started using these products, my skin's been feeling a lot better, a lot more moisturized. And overall, playing hockey, working out, being very active is very tough on the skin. And if you're looking for a way to combat that, I would highly recommend Tiege Hanley. And if you go to the link in the description, all the information is right here on this side of the screen. And thank you, Tiege. Hanley for sponsoring this part of the video. You're gonna film yourself naked? Oh, I'm gonna put the pants on. Oh. No, don't don't call me. It's gonna be torturous. <laughs> I'm the best ice bay you've ever seen. Watch it. I will hit you upside the head with this. Now, sometimes the things you say hurt. <laughs> You thought I was just trying to get the ball back. I just want to see if there's any money in there. Five minutes to close. You're in it no matter what you do, no matter where you are. Really? Even over, even over here? Yep, you're there too. You're still there. As of last week, I had no sticks to my name, so I ended up uh, spending a bunch of money to pick up a couple new ones. I had the true A6.0 hair trigger. I had three of them about a year ago. They all lasted about three to six weeks, give or take. This is the true AX9. Hopefully you can... See that right there. And so True didn't make this stick in full, right? They made Louis Deming, so these are his sticks. I got one of the six, so there's no warranty on this. It's a little like grip system here. It looks kind of dumb, but it's it's designed to be like a fingerprint. And I'm gonna say when I put my blocker on, I feel it, it feels great. It's really, really impressive. And the A6.0 didn't have that grip system, so I'm really liking that curve. It's more like a P31 Bauer. It's also lighter. A6.0 was 680 grams. This is 640, I believe. Wish it wasn't in red, wish it was like white and black, but I think all in all- Why don't you like red? because my gear is white and, uh, white and silver. True, if anybody's watching, including uh, Jorgi Arkenbach, please make a full right version of this at retail because I would like to buy a couple. I'm gonna do a dedicated review to it soon. I'll use it for like one ice time, one ice time only. All right, and a very awesome recent turn of events. My stick now has some grips. 
Butt ends are game changing. I've been using butt ends for almost four years. I would only use the stick with butt ends, which is why sometimes you watch the videos, I don't have a knob on my stick or, or a grip on my stick because I will not use tape. Butt ends, game changing. I recommend you get one, which is why I use them. Promo code Trav sucks. Save 10% off. Link in the description. Somebody is very happy I got a new stick. Oh, there we go. That works. For those wondering, this is how butt ends goes on. Super easy. Just get it on, get some lube, twist it down, and you're in business. And just like that, knob goes on. I got some glue for the sticks. Got really need it. Buttons are the best grip in the game. If you want to pick one up, I'll have a link in the description. 10% off with the promo code Trav Sucks. Also, this is Block. I use Block on all my sticks. It's for protecting your fingers from getting busted. Promo code Trav Sucks will save you 10% on that as well. Link in the description to all the things that I use. I got a cat eye cage from the guys at Goalie Parts. I think they're out of Chicago. If you're looking to get any goalie accessories, cat eye cages, especially in Canada, because they're impossible to get. Great shipping time, great customer service. Highly recommend them. Thanks again to the guys from the cage. That is not good. I might be mistaken, that might be a train. So like someone blew up or something. Man-made moving objects like ships and trains, they just absolutely fascinate me. Like in Vancouver Island, I love going to the harbor all the time, seeing the ships and the ferries come in. Stuff like that I find very fascinating, very cool. I'm very stoked because in Flemingsburg, I've seen online, there's a big train station, they got a lot of trains coming in. Get ready for the drone shots and the time lapses of the Flemingsburg train station, people. I'm so stoked for that sweep. I'm excited. Pizza time. Let's go. We don't have pineapple on any of these pizzas. Can you make them a uh, Hawaiian pie? -o? Sure. Forest gum. It's got prosciutto on top of what looks like a margarita. It smells great. Chicken, veggies, meat, the pizza. The server, she's like really, really good looking. Maybe I can really get her number after. I don't know. 50 push ups. When we get back to the rink, if I get it, you do 50. If I don't, I'll do 50. Deal? In a row. You can plan this weekend. I have my grandma's 80th birthday tomorrow. You can help me with uh, my food review. What are you guys doing? We do like a bubble tea food review. I would do that. I'm a uh, bubble tea aficionado, self so We bug them all the time because that's all he said. So I went for bubble tea last night. My mom and I go for weekly bubble tea. I'm a consumer. Hey, that's cute. I like that. You got a piece of paper, I give you my number. Uh, you're doing push ups right when we get back to the gym. You like that one? Yeah. Who is this kid? Is this your kid? No. Whose kid is this? Well, this is um, my coach's son. Oh. So I'm trying to get more ice time when I play seniors. Okay. So, uh, ooh, this one's got a little spice to her. There's a certain prune sitting at the table here. Doesn't like raisins in his cookies. He hates oatmeal raisin cookies, which is why we came here. We thought people would be very uh, polarized by pineapple on pizza. Is it good? The fresh pineapples. That can change anybody's mind. It's not out of a can. Right off the vine. Right off the back of the, uh, yeah, oh wow. That will conclude today's food review. We will see you next time. One out of the three of us does a bubble tea food review. See you next time. What are you doing to my stick? Are you scared the neighbors are gonna watch? Look out. That's enough out of you. <laughs> We're just talking. We don't have to talk about that. You've seen it, you've seen it before. Yeah, hey, never seen it in action though. Neither and neither up. Drop and give me 50, son. So we did that. Uh... How's it going? That's okay. Have a good day.